Hello everyone and welcome to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy IX. Today we're going to be exploring Limbloom and finally putting use to those 99 wrists that we bought back in Dali. We're also going to talk to this Moogle because he has a letter for us. There's a letter for Zidane. From Ruby to Zidane. Ain't y'all coming back to Alexandria? I'm so lonely. Just kidding. I'm opening a little theater in the alley here. A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon and getting into the showbiz. He asked me to help. Your friend is starting a mini theater. Sounds like fun, Kapu. And I don't think you have anything else for me. No, the one at the castle does that I actually kind of bypassed last time because I don't know why, to be quite honest. I just was like, screw it, we're leaving. Or we're pro progressing with the story. It could have totally went and talked to them then. Uh, I think if we get something special, we look at this. Oh, uh, maybe not. Uh, the room was terrible. Also, that thing crying kapoo kapoo kept me up all night. Throw him out ASAP or I'm never coming back. Lenny. I thought there was a guest book up here I could read. Oh, uh, maybe that was it. I don't know. Alright, active time event. Small time night in a big city. What a huge town! I'm completely lost! Pardon me? Jeez, you're dressed awfully funny. Dot dot dot. I'm Captain Al Adalbert Steiner of Alexandria. I almost called him Albert again. And I humbly request your assistance to get back to the castle. <laughs> That's a new one. Nice try, but I don't date bums. You should really scrape the rust off. It's disgusting. What? I mean, it's not that rusty. Sure, it could use a little polish, but it's not that bad. Do you always strike out that badly? I think you need a new nine. A little shine wouldn't hurt either. What are these things? They're called Gastal Pickles. Also, Grandma Pickle? Really? They're one of the Limbloom's delicacies. Do you want to try one? It smells terrible. The worse they smell, the better they taste. That makes no sense at all. I guess I'll try one. God damn it, Steiner. Oh, hack, hack. Oh my, even the locals don't eat them all in one bite. Phew. But you're right, they are good. You're a weird man, Steiner, sometimes. Not to each their own. A lot of these NPCs have a lot of little neat dialogue. I think these guys talk about uh, Freya. This year's festival is going to be awesome. Who do you think is going to win? I'm putting my money on Ivan. Yeah, he's good, but I heard a female dragon uh, dragon knights participating this year. But I'll bet you two cheeseburgers Ivan's going to win. Okay, you're on. I'd take that bet. Well, I wouldn't take the bet that Ivan would win, but I would totally take the two cheeseburger bet because I love cheeseburgers. Uh, if you come down here, you can actually leave Limbloom and get onto the world map. There's no real reason to do that right now, except for blocking this guy's path because it's hilarious that way. But if you go out there, you can get to random encounters. Like if you want to grind AP, get some abilities, get some levels, you can do that here. But I don't need to do that, so I'm not going to. Uh, we could head for the synthesis shop uh, right away, and I can show you what those wrists are for, but we'll do a little bit of exploring. Um, there's some items that I want to get as well. There's the pickle lady. Hi, pickle lady. Don, they're not selling at all because they smell like shit. I thought pickles are good, but they smell really bad. Yeah, well, I'm surprised Steiner didn't buy a bunch of them. Oh, there's treasure down here. This guy is just a car collector. He's, you know, he has a weird hobby because the car game is awful. Echo screen and a high potion. Go us. Now, I believe there's two more treasures up north that we can get. Nothing, like, game-breaking. Not yet, anyways. Is it in here? I got a tent. That will always come in useful. Uh, come in useful, huh? Come in handy, Kronos. That's the saying. That will come in handy. Excuse me, guys. I'm just gonna climb your little stage in the back of your church. This is a church, right? I think this is a church. Yes, it is, because the lady outside tells you about it being a church. So, yeah, sorry for, you know, breaking up your service like this. You don't mind, I'm sure. Alright, did I just push you? Uh, no. Thought I made her move fast. 
I'm gonna say that's something I did not know we could do. Uh, the item shop, weapon shop, and synthesis shop is down this way. Uh, do I want to go to the synthesis shop first? Or, nah, you know what, we'll, we'll go to the weapon shop first because we actually need to buy some stuff. Oh, actually, if you examine these swords, I remember a guy with spiky hair who carried something like this. So there you have it. Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy VII, same universe. I mean, it's just an Easter egg and not actually true at all. Excuse me, I would like to talk to that guy at the counter and not run left, thank you. Uh, Dragus, if you want to come out on top of the festival, you should definitely buy some weapons here. No, I'm gonna buy one Mage Masher, one Javelin. The Javelin is gonna be used for later uh, synthesis, so we're gonna need three of them. Uh, we're gonna find two later on. And the Mage Masher, the one we just bought, is gonna be used for synthesizing as well. And if I keep saying that word, one day I'll actually get it out of my mouth without my brain making me screw it up. Now, what we want to do is buy some steeple hats. Uh, let's see. Nah, let's... We have two. Let's buy... One more. Yeah, that should do it. All right. You'll, you'll see what I'm going for in a little bit. So let's head down this way. Uh, the item shop's right here. There's no real reason to go in it. Uh, I mean, if you want to buy consumables, by all means, go in it. The fire is too strong. How many times do I have to tell you? A few degrees can make the difference between a good weapon and a bad one. Use a lower flame. Stop nagging. We've got a customer. When is he going to get it through his head? Never. He is never going to get it through his head. That is why I'm going to steal from you right now. This is my silver glove now, old man. What are you going to do about it? He has the potential, but he doesn't work hard enough. All right, let's put him in the work. How's it going, Wayne? How's it going? You want me to make you something for the festival? No. Uh, so we'll be making these items a little bit later, but for now, I'm gonna show you guys the Cotton Road Guild trick. So, I bought some steeple hats before. It's gonna cost us a thousand guild to make cotton robes. We're gonna make three of them. That should bring us down to 1,000. Let's run over to that weapon shop again, or item shop. I th think we can sell the robes there. And sell these robes to the weaponsmith dude for a whopping... Ah, uh, come on, let's move down there. Where is it? For a whopping 6,000 gil. We've doubled our profits off, profits off of it. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to buy some more steeple hats. And we're going to just keep going until we actually can't combine steeple hats and wrists anymore. I'm going to keep three... Yeah, I think, I think I have... Yeah, three... Uh, cotton robes and probably like one or two wrist to steeple hats. So I'll show you how much gill I have after I'm done. Alrighty, I'm done with the cotton robe gill trick. So I got 71,000 gill now. Go me. I'm rich, bitch. Uh, well, I'm not really rich. I, this money is more for future purchases. It's not going to break the game at all. Uh, cause it's just gonna save me time from grinding cause I would have gotten those items later on in the future. Except now I don't have to get over leveled to do so. Uh, so what do we want to get? We want to get, uh, we can find one of these in the, the castle. So I want to get three cause we're going to use one for synthesizing. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. We already have two of those. Uh, actually sold the two steeple hats that I stole earlier. We're going to find one in the future. We'll buy one of those as well. And everything else we should be fine on. Don't worry about the fork. We'll get that later. Uh, and we should already have a, mis a mithril daggle. A da 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 daggle? Huh? Daggle, huh? Mithril dagger, since we stole it earlier. And again, we have it equipped. I'm actually a little bit behind on my uh, abilities that, well, more so than I would like. Uh, it's not going to break uh, the run or anything like that. I'm not going to have to stop and grind. It's just kind of upsetting. So we're pretty much going to buy everything here uh, that we can at least once. And we shouldn't need anything going forward. Now, those two weapons that we just got are for Zidane. They're pretty cool, but we're not going to be able to actually equip them anytime soon because we're working on Bandit. But, you know, obviously this is going to be good for future use. And I don't think there's anything else I need to 
Oh, uh, well, there will, will be get, we will be getting some armor for Zidane in the upcoming area. Uh, let's head back to the inn. All right, we are right outside the inn. I made a save just so I don't have to do that cotton robe guild trick again. Uh, where we want to go now is through here and get an automatic ATE. VV shopping. Wow, this nut smells real good. Vivi, don't say that too loudly, okay, buddy? I think I'll buy one. This place has a lot of unusual things. Is this food? It looks good. It looks like the sesame buns that Grandpa used to make. Alice's item shop. Festival of the Hunt sale ends today. Look at that Queen Brontal. Wow, there's gonna be a festival? Hi, I wanna buy this. Oh, are you friends with the Moogles? Huh? That item is called the Kapoo Nut. Kapoo Nuts are Moogles' favorite food. I'm assuming it's named after the K Moogles as well, as that would be a weird coincidence. Oh, I didn't know that. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey. It's on me. Really? Thank you. Receive, Kapoonut. Um, what is this festival of the hunt like? Well, we let a bunch of animals loose and... Oh, there's gotta be a lot of animals. It sounds like fun. Thank you. What's so fun about fighting savage beasts? Wait a minute, did I say animals again? Quick, call PETA! I'll have something to say about this. Now, Limbloom is a pretty big place. We go through district through district through this air cab, so we want to end up in the theater district. We're gonna go to the industrial district first, though, because there are items I wanna get. Because I like items. Why wouldn't I get them? Actually, there's a piece of armor for Zidane in the, the industrial district that I wanna pick up. That is the best he can get right now. That and why wouldn't you want to explore the entire the first time you get to it? I mean, it is big and it is very easy to get lost in if you haven't actually been here before. Right, kitty? You're not going to talk to me, are you? Fine. I'm going to take this leather wrist. <laughs> Completely not useful at all. Oh, you can read this, huh? Kid, uh, kid, Sid 8. Developed the first mist-powered airship in 1762. Led the airship Amada in 1771. Uh, 1771. Brought peace to the continent. Died 1780. In honor of my father, King N uh, Sid Nine. I mean, technically, that's not accurate, right? Because there wasn't a Sid in the first Final Fantasy game. There was a Sid in two and a Sid in three, and so forth and so on. But there wasn't a sit in one until it was retcon, correct? Or re not retcon, but like remade. Also, we just get a bronze vest there. It was just sitting on the ground. Um, yeah. Is that right? I can't remember. No, there wasn't a they came, there wasn't a sit in one. I know that, but I I don't remember if they put him in like the the Game Boy Advance version or the PSP version. Anyways, this is the pub we were at earlier. There's nothing to do here. Thought I'd just show it off, though. Uh, there's one more house with items up here, and then we can head to the theater district. Now, that's that's the menu. I don't know how I pressed that button instead of the circle button. And by circle button, I mean the B button on my Xbox 360 controller. And the cats in this game are so goddamn cute, but also demonic. Like, I've woken up sometimes with my cats just kind of sitting on my chest looking at me. And yes, it is horrifying as all hell. But if they looked like that, oh my god. I probably would be dead above a heart attack because I I can't can't do with the whole getting scared thing. So it's not good. <laughs> Does not go good for Kronos when he gets scared. Now let's go to the... Well, we could go to the... Uh, we'll be going back there later. We don't need to go there now. There's items at Blue Moon Castle. I think I mentioned that at the start of the episode that I didn't get last time because reasons. It was a long episode last time, but still, it, I should have gotten them, but I just didn't. Hello, fancy looking woman down here. You have anything to say? 
air cabs are convenient, but I wish they looked more stylish. Dude, that thing looks super good. It's super stylish. How? What do you mean it looks mundane? Marion, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. No, I'm not. That was that was a little too far. I'm sorry. But I swear to God, if you ever talk shit about the air cabs again. ATE Steam Engine. I'm lost again. Where is the princess? This town is big. The castle is big. Why does everything have to be so big? Pardon me, can you tell me where I am? What? You're lost? Gee, you're a soldier for crying out loud. Just tell him where he is, man. This is the bridge that connects the castle and the airship docks. That big building in front of us houses the docks. Yeah, that looks like it. What, what is that large airship? Amazing, isn't it? It's the Hildegrad II. Since it's equipped with a steam engine developed by the region himself, it can fly without mist. Impossible. How could it fly without being powered by mist? What cave did you just crawl out of? This is the age of steam power. The source of steam power is water. It's much safer than mist, which is... Steam, mist... Uh, yeah, it's completely different, you're right. <laughs> a bright future awaits us all. At least water vapor doesn't spawn monsters. Alright, how to get a drink there? I think doing the combination of the old man voice and freaking Vivi's voice has decided to destroy my throat. I know why some people don't read text and do voices. Should be something. Yeah, treasure. Hey, I'm just here to steal from you. Hope you don't mind. It's ore. It's not that important. It'll help later, though. I'm looking forward to the festival. I like seeing people die. I'm gonna use the festival as the theme for my next painting. It's gonna call the reds the the red streets of blood. All right, let's head out. And wait, do we go up? Can we go up? I don't think we can go up. No, we gotta go down. Hi, old man. See you later. I scared his birds away. <laughs> don't go in there. That's the place we want to go. Member number 26. She's late. Wh what is Maurice doing? Or Marissa. Oh, hell. Yeah, see you later. Oh, lol. I can't believe his tour ends today. Fan club chairman. Stop pushing. Hey, who are you? Who am I? I'm Sir Zidane of Tantalus, the greatest bandit in the world. Have you ever heard of him? No. Go away, stop bothering us. Ouch. And you just struck out hardcore Zidane. Hurry up. Where's Lol? Oh God, they're gonna eat him. How much longer do we have to wait? Please, he'll be here in a minute. Kiss me, hold on, oh my god. Hi, everyone. What's so special about him? Ah, uh, fangirls. I don't, I don't really get the whole obsession with celebrities. Never have. It's just weird to me. Thanks. I love you guys. And now I must run away. See you all again. Ouch! Damn, I can't see a thing! Thanks for coming to see Moogle Wannabe 2, Kapu! We don't care about you and your stupid show! We came to see Lol! Phew. Hey, you're... No, I'm not! Yo! I love the humor in this game. Poor guy, it's tough being popular. I should know. Zidane? No. No, you shouldn't. All right, let's head back to the painter's house. Yo, Lol, what's up? You are at the theater. Oh, please, don't tell anyone about this. Please, I'll give you this. We get an autograph, thank you. Thanks as always, Michael. Jeez, I can't finish my painting with you bothering me every day. Come on. 
Forget about the painting. Let's work together. You can express your artistic talents on stage, too. Don't ever compare your acting with my art. If you've done with your business, get out of here. Fine. What a waste of talent. I wouldn't get involved with him if I were you. Wait, that we were supposed to get... Oh shit, where was it? Uh... Took me a second, I'm like, wait a minute. We were supposed to get something else here. All right. Let's go check out those. So we got the Moogle suit. Moogle suit, oh, it's so well made. The fabric is nice too. Little Ilya would love it. Huh? I can't have it. Ilya's grandmother. I don't know who that is. An autograph. Lowell Bridges, born in Trino, raised in Limbloom, famous for his masculine charm, starred in Moogle Wannabe 2. Oh, so I guess, I mean, I don't know why the fan club wouldn't be freaking out about that, because, I mean, he was in it, right? So why would, wouldn't they want to see the Moogle dance? I mean, I know they didn't know it was him, but still, it's kind of interesting. All right, so if you go into Tantalus, that scene doesn't play, I think. So you want to get, if you want all the key items, then you want to do that scene first. It's not really important if you don't get it, but yeah, you know, just a forewarning. Hey, there's a Princess Garnet doll up there. I figured they wouldn't be anyone here. It looks like no one's been here for a while. Don't sleep, Zidane. You just woke up at the inn. What to do, what to do. Jeez, it's that late already. I wonder what Dagger's doing. ATE, or automatic ATE. What can I do? A bell's ringing. A performance in the theater district must have just ended. Is there anything you need, your highness? No, thank you. I was thinking about going outside and having a look around. I'm sorry, your highness, but we cannot grant this, this request. Right now, there are many people coming to Limbloom for the Festival of the Hunt. Therefore, things are quite chaotic in the town, making security rather difficult. Also, very few people know, about, uh, know of your presence here. It's for your own safety. Please understand. Okay, I understand. She doesn't understand. In fact, I think she's rather pissed about it. I can't stand sitting around like this. I didn't come here to be protected. I just want to help mother. There he is. I told you he'd be here. Why didn't you tell us that you were back? We're in Tantalus too, you know. What? Yeah. Uncle Baku said if we could find some treasure, we could be in Tantalus too. Yeah, check this out. Wow, those are Tick Sparrow wings. They sure is some treasure we found, all right. Yay, yippee. So, did the plan work? Why would the kids know about this plan? Yeah, Princess Garnet is at the castle. Really? Wow. So what's she like? Is she cute? Did you ask her out yet? No, I think she's pretty busy. Plus, she's the princess and I'm, uh, you know, so I don't know. I bet she misses you. Yeah, Stockholm Central kicks in crowd rather quickly these days. I mean, you should go see her. Good luck. See ya. I mean, even if the kids were, like, made part of the group... I think it would be rather dangerous to give them that information that you're going to go kidnap a princess. Because kids don't tend to keep secrets all that well. I wonder if she got back, uh, got to talk to Sid. Maybe I should go see her. Maybe you should, Zidane. Maybe we should loot this place first. Wow, that was a lot more than that one. Can we actually do anything with that doll up there? kind of want to see if we can. Ah, here we go. Mini, mini Baramisha. Actually, I don't know why it's mini. It says like a garnet doll, isn't it? 
It's the most coveted piece of famous uh, tripic. I don't know what that is. You'll never see a rare item. The latest fad among Lumu kids collecting action figures. A very popular rare item. That's weird. Looks like Princess Garnet, but apparently it's not. Active time event. Baku and his crew. Achoo! I love this music. Phew! That tasted good! I can't believe we found a way out of the evil forest before it got petrified! It's all thanks to our bro who pointed out the river before we took the map to the Zan. What do we do now, boss? We gotta save our brother. You're right! But first, we let the guys outside drink some water from the lake. Sina, bring them over. Hey, about Blank. I think it's better that the evil forest stayed petrified. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying this out of a concern for our safety. Then, why? I'm sure he wouldn't want to be saved if that evil forest was going to be restored too. You're right. We gotta start looking. There's gotta be another way to cure his petrification somehow. We ain't too late. We gotta do what we get, we can. I got you, boss. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, Sina. What are you doing over there? This spring water might make some good coffee. I'll get fi yeah, I'll get the fixins. Do I gotta remind you what happens to a member who don't listen to their boss? No, please, not that. I'll bring everyone over right now. I mean, Baku could one-shot him. He's done it in the past. All right, so we're gonna go to the castle next time. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.